Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Oblivion. So, we're supposed to finish off the questline for uh, the Nine Divines DLC. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so, the quest we're doing is Umaril the Unfeathered. I've been granted the blessing of Talos by the Prophet. I am now ready to destroy Umaril. My knights are on their way to Garlas Melotar to prepare for our final assault on his fortress. And it is right near Anvil. So I guess we're going to go to the inn first. Let's hop on Shadow Mirror. And just ride over there, I guess. Am I going the right way? Of course I am. Why am I asking that? So after the... Uh, so after we finish the DLC... Uh, probably I'll be doing side quests. I don't know. Don't even know in this episode. Because I do believe this is the last quest in the quest line. And I don't know how long it will be. Although I would really like to start the Shivering Isles DLC, but I don't know about that. Because I kind of want to finish up the Mages Guild, actually. I have arrived at Garlas Malator. My sworn foe, Umaril the Unfeathered, awaits me inside. The final duty in my holy quest is to find him and destroy him. Okay. Only two people here. I thought there would be more. Or, or are yes, the others Crusader. inside? You have a cool blade. I stand ready, Lord Crusader. Shall we launch our attack on Gallus Malatar? Uh, wait for my signal. Of course, Commander. We will attack at your command. Yeah, I'm just going to go in first. Because I feel like they'll die. Really fast, and I'd rather start on my own. Cause let's be honest, I could do this without their help. They have the right shield on this time because. Uh, let's see, yeah, the shield of the Crusader. Really, you're all following me. Oh, they have Dejan Rats. Well, I'd love to take the axe. I don't know if I can carry it. Um, I mean, I do have useless things in my inventory that weigh a lot. Uh, what should I do? I can't even see. I guess I should follow them, I don't know. Am I supposed to open this gate somehow? And what's over here? Oh, a button. Weak potion of the spell. Honestly, you guys, you shouldn't run away from me that fast. Like, I, I get that they're trying to help me, but... What's the matter? You'll never Getting take me tired. down! The what vengeance of the nine upon you! I'm on your side! Yeah, I know. It was an accident. There we go. Why do I feel like why do I feel like they're not doing damage to me? Um where do I check? 
Oh, I do have a lot of shield, holy or I don't get it. Good for me that they aren't doing damage to me, I guess. I don't know. Oh, jeez, woman, could you wait? They're all yelling, fighting, and I'm here just collecting stuff. Did they kill them? Well, them, them, they're fast. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. I need to find the button, I guess. Probably that one. I wonder if Umaru will dare face us. Of I course, like he'll face us. Let's just save the game real quickly. We must Nine use the time to destroy the orb. This is the part where you fall down and bleed to death. Why won't you oh, there. stay dead? I've fought much fiercer than you for Atatosh and the Nine. Am I supposed to just go? Um. Let's get this over with. Okay, what the hell am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just go? I guess so. Do I have a soul gem? With a soul, I guess I do. I guess it'll do something. Ah! Hopefully that's all gem that he had is full. But I highly doubt it. Yes. I was right. I honestly should use one of the sigil stones that I have. That looks cool. I mean it does, doesn't it? For an old game like did we freeze time? I think we did. I do hope you're able to see because I don't want to use Finglim for this quest, I mean. It is kind of bright, I feel like. Maybe I should brighten the video once I edit it, so let's see. Oh, I hear there at it. What the hell is happening? Who's shooting those? Is that Umaril? Oh. Okay, more of his lackeys. And I used up all of the charge for the sword. Oh, a cure disease potion. Let me take that. Yeah, the charges use up really fast for the weapons. I should probably save, shouldn't I? Is that Umaril? Oh, you freaking... Ah! 
At least the sword's good against him. Like I'm doing great job, I feel like. I have destroyed Umaril's physical form. If the prophet told me true, I must cast the blessing of Talos on myself and I will follow Umaril's spirit to a place where he can be destroyed. Okay. Umaril's sword. Oh, I want it so bad, but... Let me just check out the stuff I can throw away real quickly. A blessing of Talos. Bloop. Oh, did you honestly think I would leave you alone? What can I use shocking to sure? You wanna fight with thunder? Sure. Oh, you can use thunder. Oh, that's cool. Honestly, you're really weak against my sword, apparently. Because it's just like... Walking backwards, not doing anything. Oh, you struck me once. Well... He does look cool, doesn't he? Oh, I fell down. There we go. Oh, I'm falling down. Um, bye, I guess. Oh, look at his sword, just... Okay. Did we do it? I hope everybody's alive, like... I just rebuilt... the... thing and... Umaril is utterly destroyed. I have completed my holy quest. Crusader, arise. Stand and face the light. Breathe again. You have completed your divine task. You have restored the order. You have defeated the enemy of the Nile. The order shall serve as the sword and the shield of the Nile in the dark times to come. We owe you a debt of thanks. You have succeeded where we could not. You. And your knights have held true to your purpose. At long last, our purgatory is at an end. We go to the glory of the Nile to serve in their host in the life beyond this one. You may call upon our spirits when you need us. Simply pray at our tombs and each of us will grant you a blessing from the Nine. May your sword serve the Nine all the days of your life, Crusader. Farewell. He is a very silent ghost. So that's it. Oh, the spirit is still here. Sir Beric. You redeemed my soul from the evil that had ensnared me. For that, I am forever in your debt. The old bitterness that seemed so important to me in life. What is that now? How to weigh that against my very soul? I don't know. The Knights of the Nine stand together once again. I would not have thought it possible. We owe you a great debt. The evil took hold of me the day that I slew Sir Caius on the Priory Steps. I baited him, knowing his temper, and then I killed him when he drew against me. I killed him in cold blood with the Holy Sword itself. I could have disarmed him or wounded him. But a cold pride had taken hold of me, and so I slew him and went to war and never returned. The evil grew upon me until I became cruel 
a tyrannical ruler, a terror upon the land. In death, evil held me even tighter than in life. Thanks to you, and all is behind me. Sir Caius and I will go to Etheria side by side, as of old. The gods are truly merciful. I took the sword down with me into evil. You have redeemed us both. The gods smile on such deeds, noble knight. Okay, I guess that's it for his conversation. Walk I also thought that... Servant. Oh, he disappeared. So we can put away our armor over here, right? Okay, let's place them all. I know I'll be naked, but I want... I only want the sword. Yes. And maybe the shield. That's the only two things I'm going to take, because... Woo! Hello there. While... The armor does look cool, and it does have... A good bonus. Uh, I don't want to use it, I guess, since still I'm trying to stay as a, an assassin, I guess. And, you know, that armor doesn't suit me for that purpose. So, yeah. I mean, I can sneak around with it, but I'd rather use the, uh, the armor that I am using. Although I could use the... Black hand robes, but as I probably said before, oh hello there, you're running towards me. Lord Crusader, how can this be? You, you're alive! It's a miracle. I heard voices in the Undercroft, and I came to investigate. You vanished in Garmus Malatar. After the battle, we searched further into the ruin and found you next to Umaro's corpse. You had no wounds on your body, but you were dead. I saw it with my own eyes. You did not draw breath. We laid you to rest in the Undercroft. We kept your death a secret. We feared what would happen if our enemies thought you were dead. Well, that was, that's because I was fighting Umaru. And you thought I was dead. Well, at least you carried me here. Uh, the wonders of the Nine are many. Indeed, they are. We knew you had succeeded in destroying Umaru's physical form. But it seemed that you had met the same fate as Pelinor Whitestrike. Tell me, was Umaro destroyed? I have severed his very soul. Then he is destroyed. We've won, and you're alive. I have to tell the others. Shouldn't I be the one telling them? Oh, hello, who are you? Sergius Terianus, at your service. Thedret and I go way back, and he said there was need of a blacksmith here. It'd be an honor to provide what service I can. So, you need anything repaired, you come see me. It would be nice if you would do that Let for free. Let me take a look at what you've got. <laughs> okay, how much? A hundred for this? Okay, that's not a lot, but I do need to repair the stuff, so. Good day. Good day to you, too. Now, if only I could recharge my weapon, that would be really useful. Let's see, the charge for... Oh, the sword is fully charged, great, but it's a thousand. So it would cost a thousand gold to fully charge it, obviously, and yeah, that's a lot. There's nobody here. Is everybody outside doing stuff while I was dead? Knights of the Nine, hear me. Today we have witnessed undeniable proof of the strength and the might of the gods we serve. Slain in battle with the dread Umaro. By the grace and mercy of the Nine, the Crusader lives again. How can this be, you ask? What of our foe? What has become of Umaro the Unfeathered? Umaro has been slain by the Crusader. His very spirit cast into the void and destroyed for all eternity. He will never rise again. Let us give thanks to the Nine. By their power, the Crusader has rid the world of Umaril forever! Hail the Lord Crusader! Hail, Hail, the, Lord Hail, Hail the Lord Crusader! Hail the Lord Crusader! Is arisen. 
Hail Lord Crusader. Okay, we did it. So side quests. Let's see. That's the main quest. Just go. I should do that actually. I should find a cave with a vampire test. So I am going to go back to Anvil. Put away a lot of the DJ hearts that I have. And I guess I'll find a cave with the vampires in it. We shall see. Okay, so I googled a cave which has vampires in it because I don't really remember. I know there's one near Skingrad, I believe. Uh, but it might be connected to a quest, so I don't want to touch it. So we're going to Baron Cave, that's what it's called. And it's right over here near Shaden Hall, yes. And it should have vampires in it. Somebody's chasing me and trying to attack me. Now I do have to be careful. Although I do have a few cure disease potions because I don't really want to turn into a vampire just yet. Use shadow hand. It's been a while since I fused the bow, so I kind of want to. I should probably kill this one first. I like how she doesn't see me at all. Where am I? I don't even know. Do they sleep in here? Ooh, gold. Chainmail gauntlets. Not useful to me. I don't know why I'm still taking the... Um... Lockpicks. Okay, vampire this highwayman's shirt. Nothing good. I guess since uh, the lockpicks don't weigh anything, I can take them. In theory, I could sell them, right? So... It is possible to make some gold. I don't know. Okay, another vampire. Stand in one place, please. It's good that this cave is really freaking dark and they can't see me at all. Oh, that's a skeleton. Oh, I don't have a lot of arrows left. Say what you want, but the skeletons are more difficult to fight in this game, rather than Skyrim, I feel like. That was a mithril shield on her. Which is a good... it's the best light armor piece, I think. There we go. Now, honestly, I think I should just... Once I actually level up, you know, I should just probably increase other skills um, and not increase the lock picking skill that I have because, well, yeah, I'll have to buy whereas I have the iron ones, but they're weak. Uh, and not increase the lock picking skill because I have the skeleton key now and. Yes, I was here a second ago. I wish I could find more arrows. Uh, a repair hammer, great.
Okay, how many vampire discs do I have? I know that's not the correct way to say that, but... 14! I need six more vampires then. Hopefully there will be six vampires here. Well, if not, I guess I'll find a, another cave. This episode might be freaking long. But I wanted to do this with you all, I guess. So that it would be more interesting. Okay, there's a vampire over here with a bow. So he'll have arrows. And he has mithril armor, I believe. Although I can't really tell from that far away, but I think so. Yeah, he does have a lot of arrows. Mithril... Oh, he has a whole mithril set. I will take that. Oh, and he's naked. You know what? Let's try out the silver arrows. I feel like we have more of them. And they should be very good against vampires, right? Let me check the mini-map. I did not go- Oh, this leads to Cyrodiil. So I can go over here then. Right, yes, that leads nowhere. So I won't find the correct amount of vampires that I need. Were you even looking for me? You're just standing in one place. And he has a whole set of orcish. A claimer of freezing. Oh, let me take that and sell it. Is this some kind of secret secret passage? Will there be good stuff in here? Well, there is a chest, so... Potion of warmth and 27 gold coins. Not a lot. Okay, then. I guess we cleared out this cave. And killed all of its inhabitants. So I guess I should just get the hell out of here. Um, there was nothing here. Oh, only a chest. Well, I guess I can take the gold. Now I'm kind of thinking of um, saving up. Well, I do have a lot of gold saved up, but I'm thinking of starting to buy all of the houses in the game, but I don't know if I should. I would start from the cheapest house, obviously, because, you know. And I do believe the cheapest one is in the waterfront of the Imperial City, which I think it costs 2,000 gold. And obviously there's the upgrades you can buy. But I don't know if I should do that. I'll think about it, I guess. Okay, then we did that. So in the next episode, we might just do side quests and clear another vampire cave. So yeah, I'll end this episode right here then. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you did. Hope you have a great day. Goodbye.